Just say hi to the vlogs. Right here, just say hi to the vlogs. Guys, this is Natalie, by the way. She knew me because of Abby. Yes, Abby connected us. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Abby Miniature. I'm the short version. Basically. So we are in... Actually, I don't even want to give away this location. But we're, like, by the lakeshore. And in the greater Toronto area. This is Nikon F3. You see right here? I bought it with the motor grip. The only thing is, it doesn't have the vertical button. It's only over here. That's just one thing about this. And this is actually my first time shooting the Nikon F3. Um, the lens that I'm using with it is the 28 to 200 super zoom lens. The only downside about this lens is that the minimum focusing is like a little less than two meters. So I did bring my wide angle lens over here, the 18 or 35, in case if I ever need to get closer and shoot wider. I'm gonna be shooting with a roll of Kodak Portra 400, I don't know if you can see. Right there, Portra 400. Oh, so I'm going to be shooting at box speed, so I'm just going to set the ISO at 400. It's 20 pounds heavy. Doesn't look like a camera bag. No. She's talking about my bag, guys. There's this brand called Douchebags. That's their actual name. There's a label in the back of it. It says Douchebags. Oh, 100%. Yeah. So that's exactly how you think it's spelled. Yeah. Look at that. So beautiful. It's like really old and like really matches the vibes that we're going texture of this building. It looks like an Amalfi Coast kind of vibe. You know what I'm saying? Very stuffy. It's yeah. very like old European style. Actually, I think it was like based off like vintage British yeah. kind of building. Yeah, I think we'll just shoot it around this wall. Look at this. Look at this huge web. Oh, it's a huge web. Huge web. I'm like making Natalie trying to touch the web, you know? Just like putting my hand right into a spider web. Yeah, yeah. That's Destroy their home. There's a family taking photos. And I'm just here with my This is a baby. This this is like a actually this is like a designated photography location. There's like people that come here for like wedding shoots, engagement shoots, or family shoots. I can and, see it. And then I'm out here with Natalie shooting bikinis on on a film camera. It's a whole different vibe. You know? Yeah, I don't know guys, I, I just really love this low corner of the building. It's probably just because of this tree and whatever, and then the way the light's hitting us, right? Right. Yeah, and you're getting really sweaty, I can tell. I know, I'm literally roasting. <laughs> Natalie, are you a sneakerhead? I'm really not, like this is the coolest pair of shoes I own. It's a nice Jordans though. I do got Air Force Ones with me, pretty beat up, but I think it's aesthetically pleasing. Vintage. Vintage, yeah. We're all rocking vintage today. Her hoodie's vintage. I don't know about the bikini. Her but... ass is vintage. Yeah. Wait, how, how old are you? What, what year are you born? 28. I'm vintage. I'm a 93. You're a 93? I'm a 97. So we're all vintage. We're all, we're all 90s kids over here. Guys, look how amazing this view is. So insane. Like, especially the way this one just like glistens on the water. Perfect day. Perfect day. Yeah. <laughs> for the shoot. What happened when you were on the way here? I had to put this around my waist because a family area and there's a full <laughs> ash cheek. <laughs> yeah, just... Like it yellow. <laughs> By the way, have you ever shot on film before? Like me being shot on film? Uh, have you, no. yeah, have you I've ever I've myself shot? shot film, but I've never been shot on film. By a photographer. By right? a photographer. So this one's your first? This is my first. With film virginity. Do you feel honored? I, I, of course I feel honored. Okay, cool. Honored. <laughs> Privileged. Yes. Grateful. You're welcome. Alright guys, I'm kind of mad that uh, I forgot to put a Black Pro Mist filter on my lens, which whenever I shoot, I would always have a Black Pro Mist filter on my lens, but I fucking forgot to put a Black Pro Mist filter. Uh, they make your photos look dreamy. Dreamy? Yeah. So mine are gonna look wide awake? 
No, yours are gonna look sharp. I'm also gonna switch between the four point star filter and the one point, uh, the one quarter filter. So what the four point star does is it creates that little like star effect on anything that's glistening or shining. Notice how like the water is like glistening. Stinks in here. Oh, damn. I wish I had a girl, something, something I would call her. Hey, say that, say that again. I don't remember what I did. <laughs> you just started like rapping out of nowhere. It's a song. Oh, is it? I wish I was a baller. I wish I was a little bit taller. I wish I had a girl I would call her. Who sang it? I have no idea. Is it actually an actual song? 100%. I thought you just came up with it. Some of them are going to hit. Yeah. Some of them are going to slap. High five. We did it. We did it. That's yeah. it for the Nikon F3, guys. Nikon F3 right over here. All right, so as you can already tell by the title of this video, the Nikon F3 is, eh, it's all right. Like, I have a reason as to why I'm saying this, and please do not get mad at me. And don't get me wrong, like, the Nikon F3 is a nice camera. It feels nice. The manual aspect of it feels nice and a little bit refreshing. But in my case of shooting, when I shoot with models, it's not really like the best tool. I feel like the Nikon F3 is perfect for like shooting landscape or if like I get into a situation where like I don't really have to like rush my photos or you know where I can just take my time taking photos. I feel like the F3 is the best for that. If you guys know me, you've been subscribed to my YouTube channel for a long time now or if you follow my Instagram for a while now, you guys know that I shoot with the Nikon F4, F5 and F6 and if you don't know, those are autofocus film cameras or autofocus SLRs and I shoot with models for pretty much I think 95% of the time when I go out and shoot film so I really really rely on autofocus because my workflow is kind of fast like I need autofocus so that you know it can catch up to my workflow and so when I did this photo shoot with Natalie with the Nikon F5 I mean Nikon F3 sorry my workflow was definitely a lot slower than usual because I was paying a lot of attention to the manual focus on on the lens you know making sure I get the focus right and like that to me I kind of feel like I'm making the models way I don't know I just feel like a lot slower when shooting manual focus and I feel like I'm making the model way and I also feel like I am missing some opportunities because I was like to focus on getting the focus right whereas on an autofocus film camera I can just take the shot without having to worry about the focus especially with the f4 f5 and f6 those have amazing autofocus system they're always always sharp and like right on point to the target however the md4 motor drive that's attached to the bottom of my Nikon f3 does actually help a lot because every shot I take, it just automatically winds the film forward. I don't have to like wind the lever manually myself. What I also like about the uh, MD4 motor drive is obviously it takes double A batteries and I have so many rechargeable batteries in my disposal. So those work as well. Another thing I like about the motor drive is that it has continuous shooting mode, which is pretty, pretty cool. It was definitely designed for sports photographers and media photographers back in the day. Now, would I ever use the Nikon F3 again? Honestly, I actually sold it. Because I don't see myself using it as much, especially because of the manual focus, and that's not really my thing. So I actually sold it. Bought it on eBay, tried it once sold it so yeah it was definitely a nice experience though like definitely a refreshing experience you know uh trying something out but for me in my style of shooting not really like the best tool for me i mean it could be a perfect suit or a perfect fit for other photographers you know different cameras for different photographers it's just not really for me natalie it's a wrap she is probably one of the coolest people i've ever shot with I mean, wow. anybody, anybody wow. who's friends with Abby are like the cool people, you know. <laughs> wow, you shot some pretty cool people, so now I'm blushing. You're one of the cool people. Anyways, Subscribe. thank you, Natalie. 
subscribe. Yeah, subscribe, but also hit the like button, drop a comment, and uh, any thoughts on the Nikon F3 and the photos and whatever. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you, Nally. Thank you. All right, we out of here.